Alright, hey guys, how you doing? Diamond here. And today we're going to go for a very basic tutorial. It's more recapping on things that a lot of new players aren't aware of and honestly should be aware of. But it's WorldGuard. Pretty straightforward plugin. It's actually really simple once you get the hang of it. There aren't a lot of commands, there's just a lot of different permissions on what you can actually do. This is going to be a very straightforward video. It's going to be a bit lengthy, but it's all right. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. And before we do continue, I just want to inform this. This video is sponsored by Revive Note. If you guys want to check them out in the description down below with the promo code Diamond Rush in all caps, you can get up 20% on your very first purchase to either just create your own server today or just to play with friends. It's up to you. They provide full Discord support and instant setup and only a dollar per gigabyte. So make sure to check them out in the description down below. Other than that, let's start this video, shall we? Let's get started with this. I brought in Wolfful because he's a great demonstration of a dummy. No offense. <laughs> Alright, so we're, we're going to begin with setting up the region. We're going to set up a normal square region and you are going to need world edit in order for this to work. So you have to think of a region more of a, a cube or a sphere, really depending on how you're going to use it or a cylinder in this case, oh, in another case. So we're going to set up his little dirt shack. Pretty straightforward here. He has his dirt shack with a chest. Bro, shut up. It's not just a dirt shack, it's my dirt shack. It's yeah, ours. Oh. <laughs> I swear this isn't scripted. This is this is not we, we don't have anything here. It's ad, it's ad regions, please. I, I don't want to break it anymore. Well, first thing we're gonna do is slash D op and we're gonna go ahead and D op him because there's no reason for him to have operator, as this is gonna be more towards a regular player. I'm gonna be the operator here. So we're gonna go ahead and raise the height so you can have a better understanding of how this is gonna work. You're gonna use world edit, select the first corner, go diagonally across like this, and select your other corner. This can be in any size you want. World guard really doesn't have a limit towards it, and you can even set the whole entire world by using underscore underscore global underscore underscore, and that just sets the whole world as a region. But for now, what we're gonna do is make sure he can't destroy his home anymore. So by doing that, we're gonna do region define and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a name. I'm gonna call it dirt. So now this region is called dirt and I'm gonna add a flag to it. Flags are basically, so flags are basically permissions in which they can or cannot do. So we're gonna do region flag dirt and gonna give it a quote unquote permission. And this one we're gonna do entry deny. So if he ever leaves the region. This is harassment. Go ahead, try to enter. Yeah, there you go. This is my house and you're just not... I quit. So dramatic. Bro, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you can see, he cannot enter it. And if, if you ever want to allow it as well, you can just change an eye into allow. He can go back into his home. We can change some certain aspects as well. Chest dash access and then deny. That's going to deny any access for him to try to use a chest. As you can see, he can't do it, but I can perfectly just fine. And for the last of it, we can do, since he is clearly a noob who made a dirt house, we can do RG region dirt and creeper dash explosion deny. So that means anytime a creeper. So I'm going to go ahead and set him to game mode survival. And every time he walks into the region, and there's a creeper right there. It just disappears. There's no explosion, but if he walks out of it, there will be an explosion. Let, let's keep it that way. I don't want you to explode the map. But we're going to have to test it out, aren't we? <laughs> just, just let it... Come on. Do it for divine. Ow. Oh, ow. Ow. Yeah, there you go. It works. All right. And of course, there are items which you can change in a config. So for example, if you get a leather and you click it, you can see that this region is called dirt and this right here, there is no region defined to it. So you can tell where the region is. And for example, if you aren't really good with memorizing all them, which a lot of people don't, you can just mess it up. And trust me, this sounds like a terrible explanation how to do it, but it works out, okay? So if you just put any random letter after you're trying to set it up, you can see every single thing you can do. You can even click on it and it'll preset it up for you. What the heck are you eating? 
Boom. Oh, sorry. Right, we're, we're recording. My bad. All right, so we have one more example to show you. If we do slash slash cell poly, we're going to change the selection tool to a, in this case, a polygon type. So I'm going to select each area. And this is going to be more in a circular form until we reach the very back of it and select up here. This is a terrible way to select it. You can do better, but this is just an example, of course. And now we have this region selected. What we can do is region define again, and we can give it a name. So I'm gonna put this one as diamond. We're gonna go ahead and set up the flags, of course. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and try to catch a burglar by not letting him leave the area. So we can do, a re we can do region flag diamond and then put exit deny so that means every t if he tries to go in and try to take the diamond go ahead buddy try it out might gonna... be here for a while yeah yeah it's fine we got time it's gonna break it for me please and look at that we caught a burglar now he's gonna try to escape and he can't because we uh, didn't allow I'll him give you a flower damn it now now you have a flower and i can't <laughs> of course, this is just an example, and this would be more towards a lobby area where you don't want players leaving a certain region and you don't want to add barriers. Now, for example, he's trying to break stuff as well. We can do region flag diamond, and we can do block dash break deny, and he can't break anything anymore. So it's pretty straightforward like that. They will get an error message on their end saying you cannot break this block with a little particle effect as well. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I'm being bullied here. It's fine. They'll allow it. They will, but like all these, all these, all these years, you've just been bullying me. We'll talk about it next episode. There you go, guys. That was the whole video right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I want to thank Wolf of War appearing on the video. Of course, he's one of the fan favorites, if he even has any fans in this case. I think he felt that one. Regardless. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have, make sure to smack the like button down below. If you guys want to see any more tutorials on basics, make sure to put your ideas in the comment section and I will check them out as soon as possible. I read every single comment, so make sure to check it out. And other than that, hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm Diamond, he's Wolfo, and we'll check you guys next time. Cheers.